So I don't know if you saw some of the stuff that LG was uh, announcing from a home standpoint, uh, John. Uh, some things that caught my eye, as always, you know, they've always got the, the crazy fridges, right? Yes. And so uh, this year they've got this super fridge um, that can do craft ice. Oh, nice. Oh, you know, what, what is craft ice, right? Uh, it, it's like, it looks like giant balls of ice, like, I guess like ball, a nice globe. Well, well, you and I are beer guys, but definitely if you're a whiskey drinker or any kind of cocktails, this would be very appealing. Apparently, when they're in that, um, I guess, format, uh, a circular instead of a square, they don't melt as quickly either. That, that's right. So they don't water down your drink. Yeah. So, yeah. So what is that worth to you, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, the, the thing is the people do spend a lot of money on special gadgets to do that in their freezer, right? And it, yeah. the thing is it, it – it only can make one or maybe four at a time. Uh, so depending on how many drinks you want to have in an evening, it'd be nice if your fridge could just keep pumping them out. Uh, this fridge also has, uh, I guess they call a convertible drawer. So it can actually be set to different temperatures. Like oh. if you need it to be a freezer or a certain temperature for meat or veggies to keep them fresh. Uh, so that's one aspect. And they even have uh, you know, a fridge that uh, can be opened with your voice. Open. I, opened, yeah. I, do we need that? I don't know. Open sesame? Yeah. And it also disinfects uh, with UV lighting. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So you, well, you in, in, the, in the water dispenser. Okay. Right. Yeah. It, to sanitize your drink. So I, I don't know if that's a big problem with fridge water dispensers, <laughs> maybe. Well, well, I think one of the problems that the, those types of devices have, and this is the same of true, like with coffee makers and things like that, anytime water sits for a while, it, yeah. you know, it, it can get uh, stagnant. And uh, if it doesn't get constantly used and, and flowing, um, it can get bad. And, you know, you don't want to have a, a like a stinky uh, ice cube or glass of water. So another thing LG uh, is announcing is a, a special new um, cordless vacuum. So there's different types of vacuums, obviously, uh, that are popular now. Uh, Dyson, they've got their cordless stand-up vacuums, which are basically just like sticks with a little canister on them, and they've got a built-in battery. Uh, I don't even think Dyson's making corded vacuums anymore. No, I don't think so. And also robot vacuums, of course, like the Roombas and, and what have you. Everyone's getting in on that game. What makes it interesting, though, with the LG um, can stick canister cordless vacuum is that it has a dock. So when you are finished with it, you put it on the wall, it clicks in, and then it em empties a canister into a bag, which I find kind of appealing. I do, do you have a Dyson? I do, yeah. Yeah. So the one challenge I have is I am the only one that seems to want to empty that canister on a regular basis. Like, and, and the problem with the Dysons, I find, is if you don't empty them, you know, when you're supposed to, like... My family seems just to keep vacuum and vacuum. Like, I don't even know how they can get that much density of garbage and dog hair into that one canister. And then everything gets kind of gummed up. Even though it's supposed to be easy to unload, it still gets gummed up because it's got too much stuff in there. Well, I always find that you have to like literally like put a tarp down and put a garbage can in the middle because when you open up <laughs> that, that, that magic door, because I always forget like which way it's going to open or which button I have to press because yeah. I don't do it as often as probably you do because you have a family at your house. So I just, it's just me and my cat. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you do that and then it's like this like reverse mushroom cloud of dust comes out of the bottom. <laughs> oh, I don't even do that anymore because yes, that, that was a nightmare. I just go straight to the, the curbside garbage can I have. Like, <laughs> Like seriously, like just yeah. I know every time I open this thing in like one of those tiny little kitchen garbage cans, it's it's ten times more mess for me to clean up. So I just empty it in. But anyway, so I'm interested to see this new LG uh, special, um, I guess, stick vacuum that has the docking station. Every day we'll have new and fresh CES updates. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, and also don't forget the little bell icon that'll give you a notification of the next time we post a video, which will be pretty regularly during CES and even beyond.